be dragging up. That was close to our boat. You'll be able to get it up. Wow. He manned it. So when we came to Baltimore Harbor, did you think you would be pulling a 300 pound kayak out of the water? Uh, initially when I got here, no, but after seeing how conscientious the dock master has been at pulling out logs that have floated by the dock and see how large they are, and frankly to see how the Baltimore has a bunch of machinery that automatically pulls all the trash out of the water, it's not as surprising to see something so large and this is a tandem kayak. Uh, it's huge. <laughs> and it's obviously been growing for a while. Look at that. It may be more than 300 pounds. Yeah. It was just a guess. It's kind of pretty. Look at all the mollusks. And kind of a, and it doesn't smell yet because it hasn't dried. No. It'll probably be pretty smelly pretty soon. But you only see the tip of it and you know that's big enough to Make somebody's day a miserable uh, boat owner day. You did your good deed today. I did. You're such a yeah. good boy scout. Uh, well. Eagle scout. I kind of have a game for myself. I would like to know that in the end, I always pulled out more trash out of the environment that I, than I have accidentally put into it. So. Yes. This, leave, uh, leave no trace. Exactly. So this is a good leave no trace. Looks pretty clean down here. This must have been what was sticking out of the water. Yeah, you can see this was the little tip that was staying out of the water. Looks like it scraped across something and got rid of all of the barnacles right here. Thank you, sweetie, for helping pull it out. There was no <laughs> handholds. It was not fun. <laughs> I actually cut my forearm. We had a small front go through, but we have really nice wind, a very nice sail all the way up to Baltimore today. We've got about 25 nautical miles to go, and we have a beam reach, and we're going six to seven knots, so that's quite nice. What are you looking forward to doing in Baltimore? Initially getting into a marina, because we haven't been in a marina for three and a half weeks. The uh, boat is a little dirty because we do have to conserve water and then go off and explore all of Baltimore Inner Harbor. What are you looking forward to seeing in Baltimore? Uh, the aquarium and the submarine, but also walking around the vessels there and uh, going to the parks. Uh, they have a lighthouse or two to go to. We're gonna go under the E Bridge. Francis Scott E Bridge. Yeah, in about an hour, so that's gonna be very nice. And we're gonna get in quite early gonna get in around 10 or 11. Nice sleepy dogs. Looking forward to going to Baltimore. We get to stay in a marina and you'll get some air conditioning. It'll be nice and cool. No more panting. A few days with no panting. That'll be good. Okay, I'll let you get back to your sleep. We pass under the Francis Scott Key Bridge as we enter into Baltimore Harbor. The bridge opened in 1977 and has a vertical clearance of 185 feet. It was named for the author of our national anthem, the Star Spangled Banner. So this is what people see when they come near our boat. The welcoming party. <laughs> Welcome to the three dog bed and breakfast. 
Well, we're there to cut their nails, brush them, put them to bed, feed them. Make sure amongst all the naps that there's a good walk in there. Yeah, this is Lab Mariner, the spa for dogs. Think of the big ship, guys. Bet you wish we were on one of those. You could run crazy. Cause I don't know what nobody changed me now. Cause I like, cause I like to be myself. If you're not agree, you can walk away. You can walk away. You can walk away. Something, something in my mind. Leaves me then, leaves me then. I ain't nobody perfect. Something, something in my mind. ship that's still floating that went through the Pearl Harbor attack in 1941. From the submarine, the USS Torsk. You said that you actually uh, did one of the immersion the tours front, with the Cub Scouts? What was that like? You can get an overnight stay. Is that what it is? Yeah, and you can actually bunk up in the quarters. Bunk in the quarters? Yep. But it was a, a very big uh, draw for uh, scouting. Yeah, I can imagine. At that age, that would be a lot of fun. Yeah, I think it'd be interesting sleeping overnight in a submarine, so I can imagine kids. <laughs> it'd be really cool. I think you had almost as much fun with uh, Cub Scouts and Boy Scouts as your son did. I, I had more fun. <laughs> I even had a lot of fun even when Ford had uh, aged out and, and I stayed in scouting. The other adults that are in it kind of uh, connect with them. And the, and the scouts are always fun. This is such a weird thing, but when I was younger, I used to be fascinated by words that sound the same but are spelled different. And this is all words that sound the same but are spelled different. What was your favorite? I used to like a cereal and cereal. So S-E-R-I-A-L and C-E-R-E-A-L. Reminds me of my childhood. I gotcha. What was your favorite again? Trust and trust. Ah, T-R-U-S-T and T R U S T. Oh yeah, this one's a good one too. Horde or Horde. Horde or Horde? You like that one too? Or Profit and Profit. They they've done a good job picking interesting ones. They have, they're very interesting. Idle and idols. Dry and dry. Fur and fur. Pedal, pedal, pedal. Seed and seed. Forward and forward. Here's this park. Notice 
the words called homophone subscribed in the paved walkways. Think about your favorite words and take a moment to create a poem of your own. Let's yeah, get you some water. Are you thirsty? He loves the dogs. drinks like twice as much water as the other dogs. I think so too. This video began with Jim removing a kayak from the Baltimore Harbor. But Baltimore is trying to control its trash problem. Trash cat skimmers cover the harbor daily collecting waste. And as you can see, after a storm, they collect a lot of waste. The city has also installed water wheels designed to intercept trash. One from Jones Falls that's named Mr. Trash Wheel and another named Professor Trash Wheel that collects trash flowing down Harris Creek before it empties into the harbor. These trash wheels use current of the stream to turn the wheel during storms, which lifts the trash and deposits it into a dumpster. A solar panel array keeps the machine running when there is not enough water current.